we're going to be talking about how to multiply and divide positive and negative numbers. And those are called integers. But these, these rules we're going to look at will work for any type of numbers, not just integers. So it'll work for fractions and decimals and any types of numbers you come across. If you're multiplying two numbers that have the same sign, your answer is going to be positive. And by same sign, I mean either your numbers are both positive to begin with or both negative to begin with. Now, if they're opposite sign, meaning one's positive, one's negative, your answer is always going to be negative. And I'm going to put a couple problems up here on the board to illustrate what I'm talking about. If I do 4 times 2, both positive, my answer is positive. That's pretty straightforward. Same idea if I do negative 4 times negative 2. Still positive 8. They're the same sign. Positive, uh, excuse me, negative and negative gives me a positive answer. I can do the same thing with division. If I do uh, negative 4 divided by negative 2. Again, I'm going to get a positive answer. Same sign, positive answer. Now contrast that with opposite signs. For example, if I have 4 times negative 2, that's negative 8. Some people think of this as opposites, the additive inverse of 2. However you want to think of it. Opposite signs, you're going to get a negative answer. 4 divided by negative 2, negative answer. So again, same sign, always, always, always. Fractions, decimals, integers, whole numbers, natural numbers, whatever you want. Same sign, meaning both positive or both negative, your answer is going to be positive. If the numbers have different signs or opposite signs, your answer is always going to be negative. By two. I can't do this with you two laughing back there. <laughs> so if we had, no, that's not right, three coplanar points. So have you ever gotten off an airplane? <laughs> <laughs> that should be... Less than. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Is it like 500 degrees in here or what? Alright, so when you're in chemistry class, you're going to be dealing a lot of work. You're going to be bleh, starting over. So as an example, we could consider like you've got a chain hanging from two, um, two fix. 